What's going on, Legion of Zen? I'm Zentorion XYZ. Y'all can call me Zen. Today I'm recording. It is Friday and it's my birthday. And I really, really wanted to open up some Hidden Fates. I really want to pull that Chinese Zard. And uh, I have a chance to do that with Hidden Fates or that Chinese box. So definitely going to be doing that. Let's take a look at what we got. We have Raichu GX and a Charizard GX tin. I normally don't open up the Charizard GX tins because I want to keep them sealed, but since it's my birthday, I decided I'm going to go ahead and uh, and do that. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to get into this Raichu tin first and see if we can pull that very elusive shiny Zard, which I have yet to pull. And I also want to talk to you guys about a couple of new things that have uh, have come up. Obviously, we've got Darkness Ablaze coming very soon, uh, August in the middle of August, and uh, that should be a, a very interesting set. Um, word is that we're not going to get the Rainbow Zard in that particular uh, set, and it looks like we may not be getting that Rainbow Zard in any set because it is a limited 800, uh, 600 print in Japanese for Japanese tournaments. So we may not see it in English. However, they did just come out with news that uh, basically uh, Champion's Path is gonna be coming out. That's gonna be the holiday set 3.5, right? Um, we've, had, we've had three uh, sets come out already and that's gonna be 3.5. 3.5 is gonna be like the Hidden Fates equivalent and um, so very excited for that. That one is going to be pretty interesting because there's going to be quite a few different items that you can get, pin boxes, uh, along with an ETB that's going to be, from my understanding, very limited allotment. Uh, so if you are planning on getting the ETB, make sure you grab it quickly, pre-order. There's a pseudo Wudo shiny and I actually went and pulled some of my older tins for this. Actually, this is one of the newer tins. Uh, I think the Charizard is one of my older tins. And uh, there's a code for you. So we did get the shiny Pseudo Woodles. Put that in a sleeve really quick. And uh, so, boy, this Raichu is mangled uh so it, it should be pretty interesting uh champions path champions path will not have booster boxes so etvs is probably going to be the best product that they're going to put out maybe some of the premium collection boxes and stuff like that uh, but if you're a sealed collector the etv is going to be the way to go now i am definitely going to be getting there's a reshroom gx shiny so we are two for two on shiny pulls right here and this is a beautiful card. I absolutely love this. And there's a Misty's Water Command Hollow. Charmeleon, Misty's Determination, and a code. Let's go ahead and put that hollow and that shiny in a sleeve. And we'll put the uh the hollow down here. So I am very excited for Champion's Path. Definitely something I'm looking forward to. There's going to be a full art Charizard in the ETBs from my understanding. Uh, that does look like it's going to be happening. Now I do find it kind of odd that they put a Charizard, Gigantamax Charizard on the box itself of the ETB. And I'm going to put a picture of that here on the screen so you guys can see it. But they put a gold Charizard on the ETB. That kind of leads me to believe that even though we're not getting that rainbow rare Charizard, we may get a gold version. That's not confirmed. That is just my speculation. Um, but that's just what I think that might occur. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think of that idea right there. Do you think that's gonna be the case? All right, we are two for three on shiny pulls with this Raichu tin. We've got Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, 
a reverse Caterpie, and a Pinsir GX. So no shiny Zard in this one, but there's a code, and we'll go ahead and put this Pinsir in a sleeve. So not terribly bad so far. We have three pulls, but we are one tin down and still no Char Charizard. So we're gonna go ahead and cut into this Charizard tin. Again, I do not open these Charizards often. I'm collecting them sealed and uh, I don't know. I just, uh, since it's my birthday today, I decided, you know, why not? Why not treat yourself Treat yourself and uh, and open up Charizard. We don't need that. And we have a Charizard GX. There's a code. We will put Charizard GX off to the side here and get into. Well, we're gonna leave Charizard pack for last. Let's open up the birds. Let's see if the birds can bring us some luck. Can we get a Char a shiny Zard? Finally, I know some people have pulled two, three, four, five. It's kind of crazy. I have not pulled any. And I've opened up a whole bunch. There's a Scyther. Very cool card, but not what we're looking for. So we are down a pack here and no shiny Zard. And I think the trick is not to want it. But it's very difficult not to want it when you've gone this long and haven't pulled the card that you're looking for so and I definitely would like to pull some cards as well that I don't have I have a lot of duplicates there's a mr. mime Jesse and James so I do have a lot of duplicates and stuff like that and just not getting the pulls I need in order to complete the set here's a Mewtwo pack see if there's anything in here <clears throat> Psyduck, Clefairy, Magikarp, Eggins, Slowpoke, Clefable, Energy, Jinx, Charmeleon, and a Code. Woo! All right, well, this is not looking too good for us here. This tin has been a bit of a dud. This Zard tin, not... Oh no, a magic carp. That is the complete opposite of what we're looking for. So the Raichu tin was actually pretty decent, and this Charizard tin was a complete dud. But you know what? We opened up two more tins. The hunt is still on. I'm still looking for that shiny Zard, and I do appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you check out this Hidden Fates opening right here. It's a good one. There's a lot of awesome pulls, and I'll see you in the next one.